Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. Today we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow. Today for the review I have Bill Rabbit. He is part of Crossman's Pro Staff, a very well-accomplished archer, a hunter, former world junior 3D archery champion, as well as an accomplished air gunner. So Bill's a very rounded out individual when it comes to things like the airbow. Uh, Bill, thanks for joining us. Hey, good to have you here. Uh, we are going to be taking a close-up look at the velocities, the accuracy claims. Uh, we're going to do a couple fun things with the airbow, but let's get into it and check it out. You notice the chronograph is positioned about seven or eight feet back from the actual muzzle of the gun. The reason for this is there is still residual compressed air inside the arrow shaft as it leaves the barrel. As the remainder of this compressed air expels from the end of the arrow, it continues to accelerate the arrow so you won't actually reach your max velocity until about seven or eight feet away from the actual gun. With about 65 foot-pounds more than the crossbow put out, there's really no reason the airbow shouldn't be able to hunt anywhere a crossbow is legal to hunt. So we've got our target block out at 30 yards. Bill's gonna be taking three shots with his bow here. Uh, Bill, what's your draw weight on this bow? The peak draw weight on this bow is 65 pounds, but since it's a compound, it dropped. I'm only holding about 25 pounds at full draw. So we've got our crossbow set up here. Bill's gonna take three shots for us. Uh, not only are we going to show you how accurate it is, but we're also going to show you how it reloads and how cumbersome that can be. Uh, but Bill, it's putting out about 92 foot-pounds, is that right? Correct. Is that what we got? Okay. So obviously you have, a, you have an optic on here, so I would assume this is inherently more accurate than a, a bow. It should be. It should be. Okay. All right. Well, let's find out. Let's see what you can do. All right, so we're going to re-cock this, I guess is the right word, yep. yeah? All right, so you got a tool that's going to come out of the bottom. Now, not all crossbows operate this way, uh, but go ahead, yeah. So we got a crank mechanism on this one, so he's going to first latch the crank mechanism onto our main uh, string there. So this part's not very hard, uh, quite easy to do, but it makes a lot of noise. Uh, if you take a shot in the field, it's not like something that you can reload quietly like a standard bow is. So once we got that set back there and locked into place, lock our tool back up into there. They make ones that are automated. There are a bunch of different kinds of crossbows, but you can already see how much more cumbersome this is than a standard air, uh, compound bow or the air bow in this case. The air bow is considerably easier to operate. So we've got our Benjamin Pioneer air bow here. We're going to accuracy test it. Bill's going to reload it. We already have 2,900 PSI in the gun. Bill's putting that arrow on. Now you notice there's a little bit of back pressure kind of springs forward a little bit. That's because you have an enclosed tube there. It's creating suction. Uh, but this should be very, very accurate. Obviously it's considerably more powerful. We're talking about 92 foot pounds with the crossbow. This should be, well, as you saw, this was putting out well over 160. So this is going to be considerably more powerful. Let's see how it does downrange. All right, so Bill's put all of these arrows into our block here at uh, 30 yards. We have our grouping with the actual compound bow, which uh, I think you feel pretty good about that, yeah? Yeah, for 30 on a windy day, it's not bad. Okay, looking at about a two inch group there, so a pretty tight spread, but that's a minute of deer accurate. You're gonna be happy with that in a hunting situation every time. The uh, crossbow here, we got one, two, and three on that hole there. Uh, and that's, that's really accurate. I'm quite surprised by that. What, what do you think? Yeah, that's... That's a good group for a crossbow at that distance. Okay, and, and pretty easy to do as well other than the cumbersome loading, right? The cocking is a lot of effort. Okay. Um, other than that, actual taking the shot is not bad at all. Sure, and then I think by far the easiest, obviously the airbow, uh, probably the quickest reload time between the three. 
uh, and also a nice tight pattern there, you know, about an inch and a half or so in terms of the spread there. And that's gonna, again, all of these are gonna take whatever you want at 30 yards. I think that's really, a, that's a moot point. Uh, but Crossman, yeah, exactly. And Crossman rates this for two inch groups at 50 yards. Now we do have a little bit of wind here, but we're gonna see if we can replicate that here for you. We're gonna move this out to 50 and see what we can do. All right, so we're out here 50 yards, uh, nine shots down on the target here. Phil, what'd you think? So as you can see here, the, the bow shots have opened up at 50 yards. Uh, I typically, in a hunting situation, stay, I don't shoot at a deer farther than 30 yards because of this. Up here with the crossbow, um, this is coming from a high-end crossbow. The group stays nice and tight, but these arrows don't have the energy hitting this target that the air bow does. Uh, at 50 yards, hitting still with how many foot pounds? Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're looking at, you know, 160 plus so out of the air bow. Yeah. Still hitting here. And the group size is about, what, two and a half inches, three inches? Yeah, I mean, this is, in my mind, minute of, you know, accurate enough to hit whatever you're going to aim at in terms of a game animal you know, for something of a decent size. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, pretty impressive results. Let's head back to the bench and uh, give our final thoughts. The Benjamin Pioneer air bow, you've seen it accurate powerful i'm pretty impressed with it overall i like the regulator which is a new one from crossman uh, very pleased to see them moving along with the technology there uh, bill what do you think of the gun overall overall easy to shoot a good group out at far distance with a lot of energy sure so as an archer currently and as an air gunner as well you kind of have a unique position on this where do you see do you see this as something anybody can get to or is this just for archers just for air gunners what do you think I think both. I think the people that are more into the, the crossbow aspect of archery, uh, this is a good transition because it's just as accurate um, but easier to cock even than a crossbow. And then as far as air gunners, it's an easy transition because they already have refill equipment. So this is just another step up to possibly shoot larger game. So that's going to wrap it up for the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow. I'm Tyler Patner with the Pyramid Insider. Thanks to Bill Rabbit for joining me with the Crossman Pro staff. No we'll see you guys at the next one. Damn! Oh.